everyone. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. And yes, surprise, I am bringing back for the time being the monthly readings. Now, of course, this is going to be on a trial basis. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we will see what kind of feedback comes in from these videos. So I'll determine then whether to continue them. But for now, this is going to be April 2019. My website is angelsouls444.com. Let's get started. Hello, Aries. Let's see what's going on for you for April 2019. Okay, that card is coming out and it is Malachi healing. So that's nice. Yeah, and getting clarity. Yeah, getting clarity because you're kind of um, allowing some of the clutter, the noise. Got another one coming out, teacher. <laughs> nice. Um, but getting that clarity because you're allowing the healing to take place. So you're not focused so much on the pain. The pain is subsiding if you can find your way around that. And if you embrace the lessons, which is what the teacher card talks about. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, that one flew out. I got to get that one. I can't even shuffle the cards. <laughs> sexuality. Okay, so there's that one. So healing your emotional body, your sexuality. And then here's the other one. Emerald compassion. Wow. Okay, so this just off, you know, off the top of my head makes me feel like there has been a breakup of sorts and a lot to heal from. So a lot of realizations coming around. If you're not breaking up, not that everyone's going to break up out of their relationship this month, but it could be past relationships as well. Things that you've learned about yourself or been told about yourself. This could even go into friendships as well. If you've had ever in your life some toxic people, let's say. And I don't say that so that we go around judging others. <laughs> but, um, you know, sometimes you attract in people who find you vulnerable. They think that they can feed off of you. Or maybe you've done that to other people. You know, I have a very, very big audience, that, a varied audience, I should say. A varied audience that, you know, maybe you're one of those people where you feel like you need to feed off of someone or you're not validated. I hope that's not the case for a lot of you out there, but those people exist. And, you know, they, they end up that way because of things that they've experienced. So love and compassion. We have the compassion card here. Love and compassion for everybody. But this is saying, hey, I'm going to let some of that pain go. I'm going to embrace the lesson, which is Shadokite teacher. So learn the lessons, get them, get them down so you don't have to keep repeating them. What's the pattern that you've discovered? What are you ready to let go of? How do you want to carry forward? Do you want to keep carrying around judgment or um, a judgment towards you? That's, that's what it really is. It's, do you want to keep carrying around what somebody said to you one time, right? And it has defined you. Ooh, that's sometimes very, very powerful, but definitely you're coming out of that now and you're getting clarity about kind of, not that I'm encouraging people to go, oh, what did it all mean? And put it in a nice, neat little story and not embrace the, the feeling and the energy around <laughs> the lesson and overthinking it. But you, you can, it's kind of a catch 22 here. So you can kind of uh, free yourself, free yourself from the pain as we've been saying by going, okay, I, I get why that happened. I get what I got out of it. I have gratitude for what I got out of it. And yet don't go too far with it, right? Don't go too far with it. You're like explaining away other people's bad behavior. And then you leave yourself looping around that lesson again. Does that make sense? Okay. <laughs> anyway, then we have crocoite sexuality. So for some of you, you might actually literally be dealing with your sexuality and, you know, recovery. It, I hear the word recovery around this. So Maybe it's been hard to, you know, the sacral chakra stuff, right? Um, maybe it's been hard to trust. Maybe if some of you did get out of a breakup and you're just like, I'm just not ready to get back out there. I'm not ready to open my heart up to anybody else um, or let them see me, <laughs> right? So this does kind of indicate people hiding. Um, and it comes down to wanting to hide because the emotional body is not quite done, okay? It's not quite done letting everything go. And processing, thank you. So that's this card. This is part of that processing, <laughs> right? So if you did go through a breakup by the time you come into April, I'm so sorry. I, I really am. And my heart goes out to you because this is, ooh, this is feeling a little twisted around, especially sexuality. Um, 
Maybe some of you feel like I don't want to connect to somebody in that way. I just need my space. For others, it could just be a time of independence. It's just a time of like, you know what? Okay, I feel something is changing. I feel like I want to start a new chapter and I can't do that until I back up and give myself a minute, <laughs> right? So it doesn't have to be really deep and serious for everybody. Again, these are general readings, but that's, that's the energy that's coming up around that. And it's really scrambled. It's like all over the place. So people have a lot of stuff going on this month. Then we have Emerald Compassion. So this is what you need to focus on. Let your heart shine. Let that love filter through your heart. It's going to help you get through a lot. Okay. And again, having compassion for yourself, having compassion for others and realizing everybody deserves love. You know, people end up the way that they are. Maybe, maybe someone's really, really shy. And maybe you always thought that that person was just weird. Right? But really, we don't know. It's not fair to say that. We don't know what they had going on. If you knew someone's story, boy, I bet your heart would crack open because everyone has one. Remember that. Everybody has a story. But again, let's not go too far with that. <laughs> like, you know, at the same time, we don't want to just take everybody's everything, you know, just like, oh, well, they've had a hard time, right? So I'm going to sit here and bend over backwards for them balance it out. We want to be careful with that, right? And a lot of times I don't think that people who do that, I don't think that they're even meaning to do that. It just sort of happens. So your color card, let's get onto that. You do, once you process all of this, once you get through this, we have this lovely energy right here. This is gold, attract abundance. The number is 21. So it doesn't all have to be doom and gloom. You have power to turn your circumstances around. You have the power to examine and heal and release and Really take stock of where you're at. Take stock of what you tolerate. Um, look at if you are the one who is always like, because really sometimes when people are sort of moping and going, oh, you know, what was me <laughs> kind of thing. It's not that they're, I, again, I don't think they're intentionally trying to drain people, but I think there's this underlying message of, am I okay? Am I okay? Am I okay? Am I okay? And they can't help it. It doesn't make it any less annoying <laughs> if somebody's constantly, you know, pulling on you for validation, but, or trying to take advantage of you or something like that. But you see that, that how we have to kind of balance these two things where it's like, okay, I'm going to have compassion for your story, but I'm also going to set those healthy boundaries. So that's really where we need to be. And if you can manage that, a good flow coming at you. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.